Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We are here with Brandy and Denali and we're going to demonstrate all the obedience commands your girls learned here at school. We're going to start off by introducing the training equipment and Brandy's got a standard six foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand which leaves her left hand free to give a correction and the only correction we give here at school is a little tiny tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment. Now I'll be bringing home several different training collars for Denali and you can pick out one that works just right for you guys. Now the first command we're going to demonstrate is healing. Healing is properly walking on the leash, always on your left, and the command is Denali heal. Now at this point she's got a job to do and that's to stay even with her trainer's left leg. No forging ahead, no lagging behind, and whenever Brandy stops you'll notice Denali's been trained to automatically sit. If you can see your little girl in this video. <laughs> Now she obviously is a very young puppy, so her focus and maturity and her attention span is limited. So when we have vehicles driving by, we got a guy chopping down trees next door, she's going to be distracted. And as she gets older and you continue to work with her, you're going to see her focus increases. So nice healing and nice automatic sit. Now the next commands we're going to get ready to set up for is our sit stays. Brandy uses her left hand and the one word firm command to stay. With your sit stays, Denali should hold these for 15 to 30 seconds, eventually working up to three minutes. When Brandy returns back to Denali, she should hold that stay. Brandy gets back to heel position, and then they take off healing again. Nice automatic sit. So with all of our graduates and all of our dogs that leave the school, we recommend to our clients that you practice as much as possible with your dog at home, working her indoors and outdoors. And you can see she's looking up at Brandy, she's a little bit more focused, anticipating the next command, and we'll show you a sit-stay again one more time. When you're working indoors with her, you can drop the leash, increase the distance, and remember, increase the time. Instead of returning back to Denali, Brandy's going to call her. This is the recall or the come command. Denali's been trained to come back to you and sit facing you. Now, with a lot of our little students, because they are so small, we tend to pick them up a lot. So this is teaching her not to always jump when she comes back to you, not always to be looked to be picked up. Nice automatic sits, very nice automatic sits. Denali should adjust to your pace, so even though she's small, don't feel like she has to drag you down the street. She should adjust to you. Nice automatic sit. I'm going to show you that stay command one more time. Brandy can show you the recall or the come command. Denali comes, she should come back and sit. You can see since Denali was distracted by her neighbor that's doing some landscaping, if you have to use your leash as a way to get her to come back to you, give her a little tiny tug, use her, use her name, and lighten the tone of your voice. We always like to say when a dog comes back to you, it should be a happy, welcoming command. So Denali, come. You can see if she didn't sit, it was a very, very subtle tug on the leash. Usually we use the word no as a way to correct them as well. No, sit. Nice. We'll show you that stay command one more time. And then Denali, come. Very good. Gets her back to heel position. Remember, heel position is on your left, and proper leash walking is always done on your left. You can see if Brandy speeds up, Denali speeds up as well. If Brandy walks slowly, Denali should adjust to your pace again. I know one of your biggest concerns or requests was to have Denali go to the bathroom in the grass. 
and she's done a great job at that. Actually, she went to the bathroom right before we started this video. So she's done a very, very nice job with her housebreaking, with her obedience skills. One of the things that I'll work with you tomorrow when I bring her home is demonstrating the down command and how we're getting her to do that. She's still a little slow on that down command, so we won't demonstrate it on video, but I will show you that down command when she comes home. We want to thank you so much for using Nora's Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer. Can't wait to see you tomorrow, and I'm sure you miss your girl. She's adorable. Thanks again. Have a great day.